Hello, Yorktown. Supervisor Tom Diana here today. And I'm here with the Yorktown Water Superintendent, Distribution Superintendent. Let me clear that one up. Okay. Ken Rundle. How are you doing today, Ken? I'm very good, Supervisor. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. Today we are going to uh, tell you a little bit about a project that has been uh, talked about for years. And now it's finally here. That's right. We have some good news. Our new water meter system uh, is going to be starting very shortly. Ah, uh, that's great. Um, now, uh, I know that we got to this point by uh, bonds and or bans that have been paid off, and it's not taking any money away from your, um, your, your, your fund balance or, 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 or taking it out of your working capital. Am I correct? That's correct. My operating budget is not impacted by this project at all, which is great news. Perfect. All right, uh, what, what's, what's going to be happening moving forward? So in the coming weeks, the residents that will, are affected by this project, there's roughly a, approximately 4,500 residents that will have a new meter replaced. You will be receiving this letter that gives, explains about the project, all the details on how to schedule an appointment. You can either call their telephone number or you can make an appointment online with VEPO metering. Okay, this, uh, so, so this letter will give you the details on, on how you actually go about signing up, scheduling a time so that the technician can come in. Uh, tell me a little bit about the technician, uh, 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 credentials that he'll have or she'll have, as the case may be, um, uh, so that the, the, the peop when they're coming into people's house, they'll know. Right. So if when you make your appointment, when you supply an email address, you will be able to get a text message or email. If you give your cell phone number, you'll be able to get a text message. Mm -hmm. uh, it will have a picture of the technician that's going to arrive at your home to complete this work. There must be an adult present or somebody over the age of 18 years old uh, for this water meter change out. Okay. And these folks will be uniformed and have ID cards and their vehicles will be marked as uh, uh, is it, was it Vespo? Vepo, yes. Vepo, I'm sorry. Um, so the people will know who's coming into their driveway and who's knocking on their door, right? Ab absolutely. The installers will be in uniform. Right. Okay, they will have ID badges. And the one thing I wanted to add was in the areas that we're going to be installing the, meet the new meters in, uh, the folks will get door hangers with a phone number to call. Uh, it just Again, it's just reiterating um, what's on this letter and what they can expect. And I believe we're going to have this on the website and our Facebook page also. Um, uh, Ken, talk to us a little bit about why we want to replace these meters, especially this is an, an, an older meter, and, well, that looks very modern. So I can <laughs> only guess that that's, that's the way it's going to go. It's going to get changed out from A to B. Correct. So here we, we put together a, um, a sample of what you may have in your house. It may look a little bit different, but this is a typical installation of a water meter. As the supervisor noted that this is an older water meter here. Uh, so this, you, you will have this in your house. And then when a technician is done, this is what you will have hmm. uh, inside your house. This process should take about an hour. Okay, to have this done, uh, we have to shut the water off for just a few minutes so they can swap these off. Pictures will be taken hmm. of your old meter and your new meter. All the, the numbers, are, uh, readings will be recorded um, and sent to our office and the billing folks as well. Kenny, what is the cost to our residents to do this? So there's no cost to the residents at all to, wow. have, this, to have this meter installed. That's great. That's that's so great. And I did hear you take that uh, say that it's only going to take about an hour, at most. Hopefully, they have their crawl spaces and so forth uh, cleaned out, so the technician can get in there and swap this out relatively quickly. Um, and 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 that's great. Um, you also mentioned, if I'm not mistaken, that there must be an adult over 18 present there. They're not going to go in and do this unless there's an adult or or someone over 18. Correct. Somebody, yes. Um, somebody over 18 or, or uh, an adult has to be present. They will not come into the house if, um, if there's not, not an adult present. And th this will take about an hour, uh, like we said. Uh, the one thing that I would ask the residents, and it's really going to be required, 
is, again, you would, this is a typical meter setup. You have this in your home. Please make sure that it's accessible. Yes. Right? So when a technician comes out to change this, he doesn't have to move furniture or couch or, or boxes or whatever is stored on top of it. You'd be <laughs> amazed at what we see next to it. But, um, yeah, please have this accessible. Oh, that's great. That's great. Um, uh, how many water accounts, Kenny, do we have out there? So, Supervisor, we have 10,000 accounts. Okay. Um, 4,500 out of the 10,000 will be receiving a new meter. They're, the other folks, we're not missing you. Your meter uh, has already been changed out to a smart meter. So not everybody in town is going to get this letter. It's the 4,500 homes that this project affects. Needs to be retrofitted to, Absolutely. to, to that. That's great. Um, so 4,500 customers are going to get this meter. If your meter looks like this, um, now mine in my house was replaced, uh, uh, boy, I think it was 2014, but it looks kind of like this. Does that mean I get a new one? So if your meter looks like this, if it's, so these are the old analog mm -hmm. meters. These meters here are smart meters or digital meters, right. if you will. Um, if your meter is not a smart meter, it will be replaced. Okay, that's interesting because I believe this is mine. I think I'm going to be on the list. <laughs> okay, well, we can't wait to see you. <laughs> um, uh, now, the, the, the uh, water meter contractor um, is who? Is Vepo Metering. Okay, and, and he had a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't they do a really great video about this so people, people know? Yes, they, they produced a, a, a very inform. it's a short video, yep. but it's very informative, and I would urge the residents to please click on the link for the video, um, and you can get further information about it. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And, and you know, folks, uh, I, I know that there's some, some skepticism out there about having these uh, uh, meters replaced. Oh, my God, they're going to, my, my water bill is going to go up. Quite frankly... From what I've understood about this whole project, um, that's not necessarily true. Your water, your water bill, I said your water meter before, but your water bill may actually go, may actually go down because it's capturing the actual usage. Right, that, that's correct. Um, and, and again, since you brought the word usage up, I, I'd like to remind the folks that your water bill is based on usage. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's actually one bill that you can control, okay? Um, so, yes, the, we just don't assign a number to it, uh, to the bill. It, it's all based on usage. Great. And, and, you know, it seems that I remember um, it was either in the video or in a presentation that we had during one of our, our, our town board work sessions. Isn't there going to be something that a... a uh, a uh, resident can click on on his phone or her phone to see real-time water usage? Yes. So there, there's going to be, there's an app for that. Ah, I figured as much. <laughs> right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over to James Waterhouse, our meter foreman. He's an expert on the meters, and he's an ex expert on technology. And he's going to kind of go into the what you can do and what we can't do. But I, I'd like to add, though, the uh, it's called a dashboard, oh. right? So so that you can go on your smartphone and, and look at your dashboard about your water usage. Uh, that is still being developed. We're trying to customize it to the residents' needs. Mm -hmm. uh, so why this meter project is is happening? Uh, the forty five hundred meters are going in. We're trying to gather the information that we think would be helpful to our residents. I I, I do know that we have some. Uh, 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 residents out there that have had issues in the past with with water consumption and there's always a question is the meter bad the water has to run through the meter if I'm not mistaken to show up that the water's been used correct that's correct these meters are not going to turn around on their own the water passes through it generates it and the, and the dials move um, and that's how we capture your read the water meter contractor, Vepo Metering, has produced a great video that I think would be very informative for our residents to see that we would like to share with you.
Your water utility has chosen Veppo Metering with their corporate office located in Elmsford, New York to assist them in upgrading the community's water meters. This is a mandatory program. When completed, each residential or commercial property will be better equipped to read more accurately and efficiently, have the capability to identify potential leaks or tampers, and help facilitate the conservation of water. There will be no charge for the upgrade. Residents will be notified in advance via mail and door hangers that the upgrade program has started. Veppo metering technicians will be in the community while performing this upgrade with clearly identifiable car signs, uniforms, and photo ID. All technicians use tablets to capture important data from both the existing and new meters. Additionally, the technician will take two sets of pictures, first, before they remove the old meter, and secondly, after the upgrade for a new meter has been completed. The meter data and pictures are captured, then attached to a work order hosted in the cloud to be accessible for the water utilities review. Typically, your water meter will be located in one of three places, either in a crawl space, a basement, or an outside pit. Generally, this upgrade should be completed within an hour and there could be a short interruption to your water service. If the meter is located inside the home or commercial property, an appointment will be necessary to perform the upgrade. Veppo Metering's call center can assist you with scheduling a convenient time and date when you call 877-860-8376. You can also book an appointment online by going to the website www.veppometering.com or you can send an email to schedule at vepometering.com. As a reminder, you will receive either an email or text message notification prior to the scheduled appointment. Appointments are scheduled in two time frames, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. In addition, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. appointments are made available spring through early fall. Vepo Metering looks forward to working with you and thanks you in advance for your time, attention, and cooperation to this very important program. Now let's bring in our water meter foreman, James Waterhouse, who is an expert in the field and has all the details of the old and new water meters. And that's really his name, Waterhouse, and he works for the water department. Thank you, supervisor, and thank you, superintendent. My name is James Waterhouse. I am the meter foreman for the Yorktown Water District. What we have in front of us today is a smaller scale of what you guys were able to watch before. This is, again, what you would expect to find inside of your home. You have a ball valve, you have your pressure reducer, you have your water meter. Again, this is a little bit bigger, but it gives you an idea of what is in your basement. So going from old to new, what we have here is one of our oldest meters in town. And you can see it's still red with an odometer. It actually still displays numbers on the outside of your house. This is another example, a little bit of a newer model that came after this. Most of the residents in town, or at least half of the residents in town, have this system where they have a touch pad on their outside of their house. The meter reader comes by, they scan it, and it gets the read from the meter inside. Unfortunately, some of these meters have outlived their usefulness and it makes it very hard for my guys to be out in the field and get meter readings off of something like this. Moving forward, some of our town over the last couple of years may have received a newer smart meter that looks like this. I just want our residents to understand this is current, this is new, there's nothing wrong with this, you do not need to change your meter today. This is the meter that you can expect to get installed in your home as the project moves forward. Outside of your home, we have a touchpad, which many of you I'm sure have seen and questioned over the years as to what the heck is that thing. This is still going to be used, and what's going to happen is it slips right over what's called an MXU. This is the battery and transmitter that's going to be installed outside of your home. Any transmitting that's done is done externally from your home via this device. As you can see, we have come a long way with metering technology in the town of Yorktown, from meters that are over 50 years old, all the way out to the latest and greatest state-of-the-art, solid-state, iPro meter. I'd like to thank the town of Yorktown, our supervisor, our superintendent, 
and the residents for allowing me to get my hands on the latest and greatest technology for metering. It's going to allow our residents to have some really great insight, and I'd like to take that opportunity to encourage all of our residents to please sign up for our customer portal. When we roll the app out in the coming weeks and months, I would really hope that everybody gets to take advantage of it because it's going to allow you to see what's happening with your water meter. You're going to be able to monitor your water consumption, view your water bills, and you're going to be able to set alerts. This way you're able to conserve water on your own terms. If you are worried about how much water you're using, this app is going to really give you the ability to take control and really do us all a favor by conserving water. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Supervisor Diana, Superintendent Rundle. Um, it's been a pleasure to give this presentation. And yes, my last name is actually Waterhouse, and I did have to give the UPS guy my ID because he didn't believe me that I worked at the Water Department. That was my last name. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. And as a reminder, this is a letter that you will be receiving. Again, not all residents will be receiving this letter. There's about 4,500 homes that will be receiving this. Um, so if you do not get one, don't feel that you were missed or not part of the project, Yep. right? It's just the homes that need to have a new water meter put in. Great, Kenny. Hey, look, thank you so much for, for, for your description of this system and what you and your guys and gals do here to make sure that people wake up and have a wonderful glass of water. We always tease yeah, about that. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but we, we, we do a lot here in the town of Yorktown to make sure our residents are not inconvenienced, and this is just another way that we do that. It's kind of like when we have our water department work on it overnight to fix a valve or something in the middle of the night. It's so it inconveniences, number one, the least amount of people, and number two, it's the most safe to get these jobs done. So... It's, it's a twofold reason, and we don't want to inconvenience any of our residents, but sometimes we have to get these jobs done at different hours other than between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. So I guess at that, we close, and uh, I want to say goodnight, Yorktown, or goodbye, Yorktown, and uh, uh, you'll be receiving one of these letters shortly. Kenny, thank you, and thank all your guys. Thank you, Supervisor.